Hello, hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Patricia. And in this video, I want to talk to you about the shift. Now, people have been talking about the shift for years and the paradigm shift. How does it really feel? Well, you're finding out now. It actually really started in earnest in October where the huge tower moments were really shaking things up. And for some people, they feel like they have no ground to stand on anymore. I want to mention something that you may feel, which I've had a lot of people mention to, and the sessions have been off the charts getting people back on track. Do you feel something like this? Like, not only can I not do it anymore, you feel like somehow things have come to an end. And it can even feel like your life's ending. You feel this urgency and your life is ending and things have sort of a finality to it. It feels like that. You can feel like if you're not going to do what you came here to do, you might as well just leave. And it can feel like that. And that's weird because it doesn't feel suicidal. It doesn't feel like a desolation or desperation. It just feels like time's out. You've ended. And guess what? You just aren't doing what you came here to do. And you question it. And you say, why am I not doing the thing I'm really here to do? Now, I talk to a lot of people and people will sometimes say to me, it just feels like the only thing I'm here to do is to be with someone. And some people have that feeling from the time of a child. Even people who have been through bad relationships will still have that feeling and there's a reason for it. That's the inner twin that I keep talking about. You have an etheric body inside you and it matches only one person. So you're going to feel those feelings. You're going to feel like, hey, we have to meet, or I haven't met you, or isn't it about time? And yes, it is, because we planned for 2024. In fact, I said it years ago, 2024 is the year where these things are going to start to pop. Now, you may still have karmic things that you're wrapping up, and I ask you take heed of these energies what are the things what can we help you with to discern what those are sometimes it's very subtle so we'll talk about some of them this is not a conclusive list but family okay how many people got through the holidays only to find that your blood relatives are somehow all in different places. They're pushing you, they're pulling you, they're trying to suck you back into their patterns. They're trying to criticize you. They're, in other words, they're doing the same old things, but somehow it feels different. It feels like you get to leave. Now you may be the leader in your family, energetically speaking, but here's the thing. You have to be able to lead. That means you have to be able to do the light body work and you have to be able to push off, shove off. You may find it friendlier with people. And I'm talking about families that generally more or less they get along, not people who have really highly toxic situations. And those do exist. There are people that have had such terrible childhoods, such terrible parents, it's hard to believe that God could give those people as a parent. But you came into those parents just like if they were the caboose and you got on that train and you're here now, okay? Your train has been stuck in the station and now it's about to pull out of the station. That's part of the shift. Other things with this shift energy are going to be actual physical sensations and symptoms. So please watch my videos because I will be talking about these symptoms, how it feels, and I will be running coaching and classes to help you get through it expediently. I'm going to say this. Please come to the professionals. If you're trying to wing it on your own, you're just delaying your own process. Okay? There are things that sometimes you have to get a professional involved. It's like trying to do your own plumbing work. Sometimes you just know when you're in over your head. Okay? So some of those symptoms will include... Things that feel like allergies, 
things that feel like your menstrual cycle is starting up if you're a female. Oh, am I not just talking to only females? Guess what? It's there and it may not even be your time, but it is going to show up. Why? Because it is a part of family patterns. It really is. And it'll be undeniable, unmistakable. You might say like, but wait, somebody gypped me. I really am not supposed to have that right now. Too bad. Or, hey, I got ripped off. I'm supposed to be in menopause. Why the heck am I feeling these things? I already did my biological duty. Too bad. You're going to feel it because it is a part of this shift energy. But I have ways to help you with it. And mainly, it's this. You have a brand new light body. That brand new light body has a lot of other new, like you could say features to it, parts that have never been able to be accessed for one thing. And for another thing, it's new. It is so new that once you start integrating it, you have to do it and do it until it's your second nature and then it's just you. So those are the things that a lot of people may not be touching on out there. Symptoms can feel very uncomfortable. How do you know and distinguish whether it's ascension or medical? Now that is an excellent question. Ascension will be very quick and sudden, and then you have a detox that you gotta deal with. If it's just a detox, it can feel equally icky, but it carries other aspects to it, such as fevers, um, no appetite. Um, you can actually test it medically. And I do encourage people, don't just take things on assumption because I, I'm here to tell you this. Do not assume everything is an ascension symptom. Err on the side of caution and get yourself checked. Too many people want to feel like they're the spiritual guru. Please. Check the physical parts of your body because people can make mistakes, okay? If it's in the molecules, it'll show. The molecules don't lie. And that's why sometimes people have to go through a series of things to test something. I know this because I've done it. I don't deny the needs of my physical body. I don't deny what I need in any of my bodies. My light body my physical body, my mental body, my emotional body, my heart, and I want to enjoy life. So having feelings like, well, I'm done, I guess, you know, I'm not going to do what I came here to do. That's just not my normal. Is it your normal? Because if it is, it's about to change. The survival drive inside us as human angelics is very strong. And when it fades out, that is a topic for concern, and I'm here to help you with that, okay? We get you back on track. So we have several things how to do this for you. Please read the descriptions below or check out my website at TwinFlameRingConnection.com. Thanks so much. Bye.